It says extra large ham bone. Ham, okay. Well, she's pretty excited about having it. Yep. Um, uh, I can order them. Uh. He said that they probably won't get them until probably a few weeks. Oh, really? So I can order them instead, uh, and they might come in. You know, a couple like, days, probably. Oh, yeah. Where do you order them from, John? Uh, Jeffers? Just eBay or... Oh, okay. I used to get them from Jeffers, I think. I know you could get stuff all the time. Yeah. yeah, that was good memories. Yeah. Yeah, I figured this would probably be good for her teeth. Oh, I'm sure it's really good for her teeth, John. That's she's good. She's a really, really good girl. Yeah. Well, I'm really proud of you, Mona. You are a very good couple. Yep. I think it was she just was really trained well. Yeah. When you know, I first got her, I think he sent her off to be trained, or you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, I don't know if the word trained. I guess it would be trained. Yeah. To follow directions and listen and a lot of positive reinforcement. Yeah, a lot of positive reinforcement. Yeah, he did a good job with that. I think he had like three or four of them. Wow. Yeah. He had more than that. I don't know how many dogs he had. I remember. Let me just see what that was. I can spot clean. I've got some kind of rug cleaner here. 
Yeah. Not to be good at the spray. Usually those things are kind of greasy, is what I remember doing before. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have the, uh, did you go to the, they don't carry them anymore, or they just didn't? Well, they, they were out this time. Oh, okay. So they said in three weeks, but okay. you know what? You, I said you can order them also online, so it might get a little bit quicker if yeah. I could try that next time. Well, you could try Jeffers has them. It only takes a few days to get that stuff, I remember. Okay. I know they used to have them. I haven't seen the book in a long time, even or the catalog. Their stuff was really cheap, I remember. Oh, that's good. Probably reasonable. Up to today. Oh, um, just taking care of mom. Oh, her mom? Yeah. Is she not feeling good? She had, uh, um, pneumonia. Oh, boy. Yeah, so that kicked her butt. I remember Jenna I remember ordering that with the cat. Yeah. It was a really good product. There's a lot of there's a lot of cats. It does. She makes it sound good. I don't know, Ukrainian sources capture two additional settlements. Uh, those are That's what he was showing us, I think, on the... So, you got any new information about Kamala Harris? Oh, no, I just... I, they really inspired by the way she is. Uh, you know, I'm not a Trump fan at all. Right. You know me, I'm not Trump. Yeah. I don't think that's a real lizard. And, um, so. Yeah, there was a lot of really cool people at the uh, Democratic National Convention. Uh-huh, like, who are you talking about, Tom? James Taylor. Oh, really? Yeah, he was there. Oh, I didn't know that. Barack Obama. Okay, yeah, I saw, I saw, no, she spoke. And so did uh, his wife, uh, Michelle. Yeah, that's what, that's the name I was trying to think of. Yes, John. You're right. Yeah. That's the name I was and Bill Clinton spoke also. Yeah, yeah, he spoke. And his wife, what's H her name? Hillary. Hillary, you have a good memory. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, that was nice. That was really nice, John. And I even listened to Kamala, uh, Kamala's husband. Uh huh. He spoke for a little while, and he did yeah. a nice job. Yeah, everybody did a good job. I thought it was really entertaining and informative and. Uh, optimistic. Yeah, he spoke 
He spoke from the heart too, which yeah, is, he did really. which is he nice like to hear. Really nice person. Yeah. Yeah. Really kind guy. Yeah. Really kind guy. Yeah, I enjoyed listening to that and the optimism is what I like. Yeah. Yeah. We need some more optimism in this yeah. world right now. Yeah, I agree. Completely. I mean, uh, you could, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Things are just so, um, everything's wrong. And I mean, I'm tired of listening to everything's wrong. Not everything is right in this world. Yeah. Yep. What does that stuff do? They advertise a lot of stuff on here, and I have no idea what it does. Clear skin for what? Maybe eczema? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I have no idea, John. Uh, blood In clots. Uh, infections. Oh, this is very, all the, the warning. <laughs> But she had seven dogs over at Tucson Rescue Now today, so that was good. There's seven over there to be adopted? Yeah, there, there were today. Yeah, it's just so hard for me to think about getting another dog. Yep. Oh, is such a good girl. That's okay. I just hate to spoil her thunder. Yeah. Oh, it's all good. Yeah, she's just such a good girl. Such a pleasure to be around and have a dog that listens and follows directions. These guys were part of uh, some kids, I think. I thought it was 30 as compared to really fun. Culinary approach is too dangerous for second term. Yeah, something. Yeah, those guys were, I think. 74. Because I was so afraid. Could I have talked to some black men? The class. Volume. 73. 70. 68. 67. Hispanics out. But the question is, they get to see these men. This is what Trump can do to you. He has money. These guys were innocent. They need to look at exactly what Trump stands for. You know, he doesn't care whether you're Hispanic or black. He would like to move everyone out. And if he gets a chance, he will. You know, they need to understand. They just won't be Hispanic to move out. They will also just pick up anyone and send them to South America, another country. He does not care. And you see young men. To have someone to pay $85,000 to get you executed is, is ridiculous. They need to see what this man can do. Why did you support Trump? You know, he does not care about anyone. If you're not rich, you cannot support him. And he, the small town people, everyone needs to know that. He does not care what you think. He wants you out. And that's... Definitely, he wants if he wants Latinos out because they're taking black jobs. <laughs> he's not gonna keep blacks around to do those jobs. You know, you have to be real. He's gonna let everyone go. <laughs> he's just gonna take a bus and lower everybody up and then out. It's his country Uncle, now. Mm -hmm. Gloria, you, you said that every, every black radio station should play excerpts of. Um, um, of the speeches made by the exonerated five do you think their message will resonate with black voters especially black men given what you were just talking about yes i think so they need to know how hard this man tried to execute these young men and they were found innocent if he does it to them he would do it to anyone it doesn't matter whether you're guilty or not he would do whatever to do what he wants and not what the legal system says so it's going to be very important that, that we select some 
someone who's going to stand up for individual rights. Mm-hmm. You know, there shouldn't be any more assassinations. Mm-hmm. Uncle Ray, we've got less than a minute left, but um, I know you watched all the convention, and now you know that we got 72 days to go before Election Day. What advice would you give the Harris Walls team? Keep doing what you're doing. I like the fact that he makes you feel like you want to be in a small town, living a different life than we used to live. And I love the fact that she can deliver that. Those two together can deliver this country. And I like the fact that when you look at that convention, you see everyone in America. It looks mm-hmm. like America's finally living up to its potential. And, and that's what that, it should be. And on that note, Uncle Gloria, we we got to go. Uncle Gloria, as always, thank you very much for coming back to The Sunday Show. You're welcome, Ken. Thank you. <laughs> All right, more of The Sunday Show when we come back here on MSNBC. When we say it'll be on time, they expect it to be on time. Time shipping. 